What is up? Actually checking out a residential unit today. Got a rud unit. So known as Ream. And it's got a leak. It just needs some refrigerant every once in a while. And then uh, also his fan motor just died. So he just got himself a universal rescue motor. But it is the uh, uh, ECM type. So these are like 15 sear units. Single speed, but they have ECM motors inside it out. So anyway, all the gauges hooked up. putting the air probes and the vents inside and he's gonna turn the turn the unit on for me. I'm gonna gas it up. So check out this uh, universal motor. He put it back on pretty much like how it looked it should be and it was except the way this universal ECM works and I guess all you guys that do residential and use these motors already know it looks like you do not utilize high voltage all the time like a normal ECM and then low voltage to tell it to run. This one you have to interrupt your high voltage to start and stop and then these three wires here is blue is common, yellow tells it it's an 825, if no 24 volts it's 1075 and if you orange is clockwise versus counterclockwise so we needed 825 counterclockwise so we're yellow I needed to make 24 volts all the time so I spliced it in right here. I had to run the high voltage through the uh, defrost board there. <laughs> so I kind of added a couple pounds and uh, in cooling, kind of low load inside, so got it ballparked. And then uh, we're going to test out some heat. It should be good. I am back today, like a week later. I'm gonna pull the charge down to near zero. I'm gonna leave it slightly positive so I could take that uh, power dome off. TXV there. Hopefully that's all that's wrong with it. Seeing that there's a bi-flow for a cooling mode and that cooling works fine, I'm not thinking that it's plug strain or anything like that. Just hoping that this dome lost its charge, which I will cut it momentarily. Let's see if it did. Old, tired Inficon. The recovery machine is still working. Knobs are long busted off, but it still works. Because it always to get it down to like 5 PSI or so. Just above the atmosphere, but enough to kind of give me time to unthread that bulb here and put in a new one. Let's see what happens right here. Well, it had a little bit. So it had some pressure. It wasn't flat. Hoping it had none, because that's usually a dead giveaway. Still could be uh, so low that it can't oppose the spring. All right, just got done. Uncle's out here, kind of. So I didn't record a bunch of stuff, but what I did was I brought it down to 10 PSI, we covered it into the tank, and then we just, uh, I just unthreaded that while it was under pressure, positive pressure, screwed on the new dome, and we're gold. Just moved the probe, so that's coming down still, but C124 suction over 395 liquid, so. TXV is just a dome, just a dome that was bad. But you kind of figured because cooling worked and if it was restricted, you know, it would affect cooling and it didn't. It passed through uh, for cooling just fine, just restricted for heat. Just took the uh, gauges off of that one, hooked it up to this one. He said this one isn't heating very well either. Well, got 287 on the high side, 78. By the way, it's like 60 out here maybe a little more than 60 degrees so it, it's running 19 degrees into the feeder of the coils I don't have my thermometer on the suction line yet but suction line's really warm <laughs> it's like in the 60s so it's got like 47 degrees superheat probably right now it's even 
dropping down. So either he has a slightly sticked it out there TXV on this one too, of course it's a little bit low on the refrigerant. I'm trying to get the temperature here, but it's pretty inaccurate to get these little feeders like that. If I can get it right here. One of my probes, still need to put a new end on it. This is a new end right here on my Testo. I have one more of these to put on the other probe to fix it, but I just haven't done it yet, so I don't have to think about it up. So today I've been just sticking my other one on there, calculating it the old way. And yeah, you can see already I just moved that probe and it's dropping below freezing so yep so I'm gonna undo the reversal valve here in a second see how it's working cooling might just need a little bit of refrigerant just thought I'd make a video for you guys since I hadn't been doing HVC videos too much lately I only work on residential if it's like friends or family or my own pretty much so I had a family member there had to add refrigerant to it a couple years ago we assumed that's what it was again it wasn't heating very good so went out there last week started putting a little bit in there before i realized the heating txv was bad and as soon as you add a little bit it shot up the the high side you know even to the point of tripping so, so came back this week with a uh just a just a dome for the TXV, figure no harm, no foul, Sporlin type dome. And if it isn't just the dome, I'll just come back another day with the body and cartridge. But I knew that since the cooling worked okay, which checks the other way through that same body, that it's not going to be a plug strainer or anything like that. So just uh, it was a good guess. And, you know, didn't have to evacuate or I should say I recovered the refrigerant down to like 15 psi to change the dome under slight pressure but I didn't have to use the vacuum pump or anything like that just did that thread it on the dome put some refrigerant back in to start it and just dialed it in didn't have to put all the refrigerant back in that I had because I added some and his other unit was actually a little low so I put that remaining refrigerant or covered back over there and had to act actually add a little bit of new also to his other system so until this morning, this morning he said it was because it got colder a little bit the last couple days. He said that one unit was struggling out of the two. He only had the one running. It was actually a little low also. So anyway, get her done. And uh, just thought I'd make a quick video. I hadn't been making much. So anyway, until next time, catch you guys later. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, all that stuff.